Where are we at, Sam? The Dali Museum! Ah, good morning, everybody. Well, I guess I don't need to say good morning. It is morning for us. It's morning for us, but when you watch this video, it'll be like three or four minutes in. Good day, everybody. <laughs> Good day. We are on day two of our trip here in Tampa. We are headed over again to St. Petersburg, Florida to enjoy the Dolly Museum. Finally. Um, we tried to go to the Dolly Museum uh, late last year and they had a IndyCar race in the middle of downtown St. Pete. So we were, they everything was closed, the museum was closed. Uh, people who had tickets for some of those days had to reschedule. We bought our tickets for this date back in March or the end of February, I want to say. Mm -hmm. So we've been waiting and really excited to finally make it there. I've been trying to get to this museum since like 2008 um, when I first discovered that it was in St. Pete. So we're going to go out and enjoy it and explore all of these massive pieces of Dolly art. There is also a Van Gogh exhibit going on in there right now. The projection mapping one where his paintings come to life around you. We are really excited about this one. The exhibit will be going to Orlando at some point later this year, but we're happy that we get to experience it here before that. Yeah. So, on we go. Now, the Dolly Museum opened in St. Petersburg, Florida in 1982. And uh, this particular building, or this, this structure here, opened in 2011 and uh, is beautiful. Uh, I, I'll think of the name of the architect, I'll have to look that up, but there was a world famous architect or a pretty notable architect that did this design with the uh, glass work as a, a really impactful entryway or statement for the building. Something that is just as creative as Salvador Dali himself. So we found a little bird that's up on this lamp up here, this light. They got a few photos of it. It's just staring down at us saying, how you doing? Oh, it just flew away. Well, Jose got his photos. The architect's name, I was able to look it up, is Jan Weymouth. Uh, Weymouth, hopefully I pronounced that right. And it combines the rational with the fantastical. And uh, that's the big glass structures up at the front uh, that kind of hold that impactful image at the front of the building. So we're really excited to go in and see all of the different galleries that are here. And like we said, the Van Gogh exhibits here as well. So two amazing artists showcased in one building. How great is that? I'm excited. Be amazing. Hey, Jose here. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can join us in all of our adventures. Welcome to San Jose. Going up. We've made it inside. We're now on the elevator up to the third floor. So we're going to get started up here. Top floor is the works of Dolly, the Van Gogh live experience, and at home with Dolly. Dolly lives interactive screen as well. So we'll see. Oh my God. Going down. Wow. So this Dolly Works uh, exhibit showcases a lot of different Salvador Dolly work throughout the chronological aspects of his life. It's going to showcase four um, principal modes of his work, which is early work, anti-art, surrealism, and nuclear mysticism and late work. So Salvador Dolly definitely had a lot of different pieces and the museum's whole mission is to try and showcase these pieces and preserve them for posterity and for creative minds of the future. So Salvador Dali's early work was definitely a 
representation of his education and the art schools that he went through. You can see a lot of Impressionism in, in these paintings. Um, got the heavy brush strokes, lots of thick oil painting on there. Very different from his later works. This piece is called Girl with Curls, and you can start to see his paint strokes are evening out a little bit, and he's starting to come on his own as far as his artwork. Very cool. So now we're gonna get into anti-art. into Salvador Dali's surrealist paintings. Now, this was definitely a huge jump for him, uh, which was inspired by his reading of Sigmund Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. In addition, shortly thereafter, he also met Picasso, who kind of introduced him to surrealist type of paintings. So from there, he just ran with it. The rest is history. get into his later work, his nuclear mysticism and late works in this next gallery. Uh, he broke away from the Surrealists a little bit and redefined what his goals were and his positions as far as the artistic world. And, um, and this was also after he and his wife escaped from war-torn Europe after World War II. So you still have some of the fantasy of his imagination in there, but it's a little less surreal, more unique to him. walkthrough of his type of style of works through through that entire thing. We're now going to wait in line for the Van Gogh Live experience, which is the projection mapping of all the Van Gogh paintings. Um, we're really excited for that.
you think, Jose, of Van Gogh Alive? Oh, for Van Gogh, as yeah. Americans say. Uh, some very touching moments there for like some of the paintings and trying to understand the artist and where they're coming from and how they do it. Uh, being a photographer and an artist and creative and all that stuff, so you kind of you can kind of understand what they're coming from with with those moments in life where they were at. Uh, so it's. it's it, it was beautiful. Yeah. yeah, it was great. It was a very impactful exhibit. They intertwined Van Gogh, or Van Gogh, I'll just say Van Gogh, quotes in with the story that they were telling as far as the timeline from when he started his artwork, his birth and everything, and then the, the transition through his life and up to his death, which his passion was his art and the creation of it. And even though he didn't make any money in life, his impact is obviously mind-blowing, right? We're going to continue through, uh, so we finished the first, the third floor of the Dali Museum. We're going to continue down through some of the other exhibits, see what else they have, and we're really excited. This was, so far, been amazing. We've already been here for two and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> Salvador Dali worked in a lot of different mediums, including sculpture. So some of these pieces are his, which is pretty amazing. Uh, there's a handful of different sculptures out here. And of course, you've got the amazing facade of the Dali Museum behind us. Uh, that beautiful glass architecture. And um, it's very awe-inspiring. It's really great. to know if you're visiting the Dali Museum is that they do have food service on site. There is a cafe with a food and beverage service. They have an extensive merchandise shop as well. We'll quickly cruise through there on our way out. In addition to that, it's just a great experience. So come on out. We do recommend it. Uh, the Van Gogh exhibit is going to be gone probably in a little bit. I think this is the last 13th. So that if, if you're in the area and it's still here, we recommend it. Uh, if it's traveling and it's in your area, we recommend it as well. It is fairly immersive. It's really great with the projection mapping and it was a really fun experience that tied together uh, all of Van Gogh's stuff. It was just really great. Dolly Museum as well is very extensive. It has a lot of great pieces in it. And we were really happy that we finally made it in here to see this great museum. Yeah. It's a beautiful building. It's got a great little sculpture garden and it's also got some amazing artwork. So it was a great visit. It was worth it. Definitely. So thank you so much for joining us. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe. We want to make sure that we don't miss you out on any of our journeys. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, let's go.